Ladies and gentlemen, hello. I am back by myself. This is kind of weird, but I'm also in a new setup. Uh, I'm not on my Chromebook anymore. I've upgraded to my desktop, my PC. It's nice. I got a 720p webcam, so it should look a lot better for you guys. Uh, Ben's on his Chromebook for now, but we've been talking and he might be upgrading as well. So hopefully the quality's better. Hopefully everything looks a little sharper. Uh, as you see, I'm using my gaming headset. Uh, my, I might change that. Might get some speakers. Might get a, I don't know what to call it, a microphone. Like not other than this, but for the time being, when I use this, I think it, it works pretty well. Um, but yeah. So today we're going to be talking about Villanova 2021 basketball recruiting round, I guess. Uh, they currently have three commitments, Dre Patterson, Ananu Njoku, and Jordan Logino. Jordan Logino committed the 23rd of July, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it was down to Indiana and Villanova kind of the whole way. I don't think anyone had him going anywhere else. 24-7, everyone had him going to Villanova. I'm pretty sure there were nine predictions, which is a lot, especially for a basketball player. Uh, Indiana loses another one to the Cats. Of course, Trey Patterson had uh, IU in his top three along with Florida. Of course, went to Villanova. So it's it's not the greatest time to be a, a Hoosier recruiter right now. I mean, yeah, you, you voice that legacy, that tradition, uh, but they can't make the NCAA tournament. So I don't know. Tough, tough break, though. Uh, Villanova currently is the number three class in the country with three commits, all four stars, all ranked top 100, 34, 79, and 96. Uh, not a shocker here. They're all from uh, the Northeast. Of course, Trey Patterson from New Jersey, Nanani Njoku from Delaware, and Jordan Logino from Fort Washington, Pennsylvania. Fort Washington, Pennsylvania, not far at all from Villanova. Um, I think it's an hour or less. I'm not completely sure. It depends on traffic, of course. Philadelphia traffic is legit. But uh, I also want to talk about not just the guys who are committed, who will be playing for the Cats in coming years. I want to talk about some uh, some prospects that they're trying to land. Uh, Trevor Keels, a five-star from Fairfax, Virginia. He goes to Paul V. Jimmy Roaches. And Brandon Slater's uh, old old stomping grounds. You have Rasul Diggins, the Arch Archbishop Woods point guard. Uh, pretty sure uh, Colin Gillespie went there, but don't quote me on that. Uh, Angelo Brizzi is from Monterey, Virginia. A lot of a lot of people think he's going to be ending uh, ending up in Malvern, Pennsylvania, playing for the Wildcats. There are currently. Ten predictions, all in favor of Villanova, and all coming in the past three days. So, I like Brizzy to the Wildcats a lot. Uh, other than that, though, we have Stevie Mitchell. He's ranked 112th in the nation. Uh, he released the top eight, I believe. But... That might be wrong. I think it was. I think it was top five actually. Anyways, he. Uh, a lot of people think he's gonna end up at either Marquette or Stanford. I really. I don't think he'll end up at, at Villanova, just on the fact I think Angelo Brizzi will. And if you're two two three stars, or actually, excuse me, Stephen Mitchell is a four star. Angelo Brizzi is a three star. I don't. I don't think. Villanova's point guard position is kind of cut out, right? You had, of course, Ryan Archie from 2013 to 2016. You had Jalen Brunson in the uh, 17 and 18 year as the starter. 18, of course, maybe one of the greatest point guard years of all time, regardless of any year, any, any anything. He had a sensational year. Uh, 2019, 2020, and most likely 2021 is going to be Colin Gillespie's show. Uh, at least running the point guard position. He doesn't really seem to have anyone vying for that. 
no transfers this year, which kind of shocked me. I thought there'd be a point guard transfer, but it is what it is. Uh, I was targeting Andrew Newhart from Florida, but uh, regardless, Colin Gillespie has a position locked down. And then looking forward, Villanova doesn't have any. Uh, their point guard depth is very, very uh, non-existent. Uh, they have Colin Gillespie. Just some more can occasionally play the point guard. Uh, they have guys like Brian Antoine, Chris Archiacono. Uh, those guys are more shooting guards, and Chris Archiacono doesn't really play much. Uh, I doubt Chris Chris Archiacono could be a power five, or I should say, power six level starter until his senior year, and that's two years away, probably three, because I've got whole red shirt. One of these years, due to injury or whatever. But what I'm saying is Villanova needs a point guard. Angelo Brizzi and Stephen Mitchell are Villanova typical point guards in full form. One's from Virginia, one's from Pennsylvania. They're not big, 6'3 and 6'2 respectively, 170, 165. But they're not, they're not, when you look at a Villanova point guard, they're not going to be five-star. Look at Javon Quiller. He was a five-star point guard. Went to Villanova. He's at Alabama now. Why not even start at Alabama? This so Villanova has a system that they go by, and it works. I mean, we've won two national championships in three years. Yes, I say we. Uh, saying I'm a fan of the Villanova Cats, I am Villanova uh, basketball, Notre Dame football. That's my. That's my jam. But I just I can't. I can't see Angelo Brizzi going anywhere else, so for that reason alone, I don't see Mitchell uh, committing to the Wildcats. I do have Angelo Brizzi committing to the Wildcats. Uh, Rasul Diggins, Connecticut's looking like the favor right now. Not by a wide margin, uh, but I I don't think Jay Wright's pushing for him as much. I think Jay Wright should be pushing for him more. He's a heck of a player. I think uh, it'll either end up at DePaul, Kansas, or Connecticut. If I had to, if I had to say top three, I think it'd be those three. And then, of course, Trevor Keels, who was the big target going into this year. Big body guy. But he's 210, he's 6'5. Uh, good muscle, though. He's not, not bad weight. But right now, I really like Duke and Virginia. I really think he's going to end up at most likely Virginia or Duke. Uh, it really depends how this season pans out for him in his high school and uh, for, for the Duke Blue Devils. If Jeremy Roach uh, gets benched for DJ Stewart, I don't think he's going to Duke. If Jeremy Roach starts and plays well in Coach K's system, maybe solidifies himself as a first-round pick or gets that uh, starting nod for uh, his sophomore campaign in college, then I think Trevor Keels will go just on the fact that they're very close um, and we already have a shooting guard, uh, of course, with Jordan Longino committed last night. So I don't know if Trevor Kills would want competition at Villanova or Duke. It honestly depends. I think Trevor Kills would win over Jordan Longino. Um, but if you're a kid who knows you're going to be the starting shooting guard at a very, very good Virginia Cavalier, uh, Virginia or a starting shooting guard at Michigan. I go there. Of course, he's gonna have to battle Isaiah Barnes if he commit if he goes to Michigan, and if he goes to Ohio State. Uh, I don't think he'll have very much competition there. So, another one of those. Do you want competition? Do you not? Uh, oh, excuse me, I lied. Malachi Branham. St. Vincent, St. Mary, LeBron's uh, high school. High four-star. He's going to Ohio State, so I put Ohio State off. That's my fault. I've not been – I've been focusing more on football uh, for 2021. 2022, I'm going, pretty, I'm going pretty hard for basketball, and I think 2021 as well. But just give me a second. All right, here we go. So, so yeah, that's my stance on it. 
I bet we'll end up getting a point guard if that's Angelo Brizzy or Stevie Mitchell. We'll see. If Angelo Brizzy announces in the next month, I think he's going to Villanova. Of course, he could decommit. Uh, same If Trevor Kills ends up going to Villanova, I think Longino would decommit. Uh, maybe Patterson as well, just on the fact he's a, he can play the two. And, uh, he, I think he played a little bit of the two in AAU. But that's my Villanova recruiting update. Wasn't the greatest. I haven't done a whole lot of research, as I said. I've been focusing on college football uh, for the 2021 recruiting classes. Notre Dame in specific. I have a Notre Dame recruiting video if you want to watch that. It's my, my last video. Quality wasn't as good. Sorry about that. But the quality should be really good now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.